Hello all. Today in this video, I am going to uh, provide and demo for SVM multi-class classification in a guy window. Previously, all the uh, variables which we are going to use, we have stored and that variables only we have going to use over here. So, first of all, we are going to call the input image. So, the input image uh, uh, extensions which we are going to use here include JPG, PNG, TIFF, BMP and PGM. So, the, we are setting a path to it and we are reading it. Then we are converting that uh, RGB image since the word in input image if it is input uh, is a gray uh, that uh, is RGB means it will be converted to gray for that we are using that and we are displaying the gray image then we are going to normalize that gray image and uh, then we are going to do PCA that is principal component analysis to do PCA, we are just reshaping the gray image to size 100 into 100. That is height is also 100, width is also 100. Then we are just going to display that image. Then that uh, expressions which uh, we are go using here are happy, sad, surprise, anger, disgust, fear and neutral. So totally 7 expressions. So... For to display the seven expressions, we are just using SVM. Uh, so for multi-class classification in SVM, we will use FITC ECOC other than FITC SVM. That is both are the uh, default SVM MATLAB uh, functions. But for binary classification, we will be using FITC SVM. And for Multi-class classification, we will be using FITC ECOC. So, uh, in the, to call the SVM prediction, we have to declare MDL and also the test VX, which we are using over here. And then, based on that values, we are going to display uh, what is our data set so the folder name of the images which we are having which we are are calling over here and then uh, we are just uh, calling the features which we have declared and uh, then we are going to divide it and then PCA is done so SVM is also done as you as I said previously SVM we are uh, multi-class since it's a multi-class classification we are doing with FITC ECOC if it is binary means we will do with uh, FITC SVM uh, then based on the features we will be declaring the variables for the uh, function such as uh, truth positive, truth negative etc so that variables also we will be uh, going to call in the survey uh, so now we can just run our guy function so this is our guy which we have created so first we will load the input images so first we can just start with the happy so while we are giving happy then we can just move to feature extraction with PCA then here the training ratio already we have set as 0.8 if you need some other training ratio means based on your uh, thing if you need 70% for training and 30% for testing means you can give here as 0.7 then how I am just training the PCA it will train all the images which we are having in the data set so based on that output our output will be displayed so since it is having nearly more than 170 images it will take if you are having more images more than 1000 means based on the count of the images the time will also increases so here we gave initially happy image so but uh, here we are not hitting the ha happy as the recognized expression we are getting only sad so here uh, just we can test it but the accuracy is good so we can just check with some other images anger And we can just train it. So feature extraction, and then we can just train it. And here, one the training will always take time. Uh, so 
uh, since it is having more than 100 images based on the number of images the time will also increases so now uh, it is uh, getting the good that is the correct expression so now we can see the other variables the performance metrics variables so for also we can just check with some other uh, expression whether this expression is getting correct value so we can train the SPM uh, so this we gave surprise so here in the recognized expression we have to uh, it would come like surprise so if it so means our uh, system which we have made is a better system yes it is displaying as surprise so now we can test with the other variables like truth positive truth negative false positive false negative then accuracy sensitivity specificity precision and f1 score then the confusion matrix since we are having seven uh, uh, the classes like the happy sad etc here we are getting seven mostly in the upper table and the that is rows and the columns we will be getting seven rows and seven columns so this is the code for uh, svm multi-class classification in this case it is multi-class spatial expression classification so we can in the next code we can just see with some other video thank you